hello everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be discussing about the structure of teeth in humans as we know that human teeth has many parts like enamel dentine pulp root canal etc so all these parts will be discussed in detail in this video also if you want this ppt then you can go check out my website i have uploaded this ppt over there link for the website is given in the description box now let's get started firstly let's understand that our tooth is divided into three main parts that is the crown area root area and the neck area so a tooth is divided into crown which is the part above the gum line here you can see crown this is the area crown area right it is present above the gum line then comes the root area that is the lower portion and this is the area that is present below the gum line and in between these two area comes the neck area right so this is the crown area which is basically the visible area the one that we can see from our eyes then comes a neck area that is present between the crown and the root and then is the root area that is present under the gum area so a tooth comprises of enamel dentine cementum dental pulp periodontal ligaments jawbone and gingiva all these structures will be discussed one by one in the upcoming slides so let's get started with enamel first enamel is the hardest part of our body and it is the most mineralized body part 90% of this enamel is made up of minerals with water and organic material comprising of the rest so 96% is mineral whereas 4% is water and organic material if we look in this picture enamel is the this area is the enamel right all the white portion is the enamel the portion that we can see through our eyes is the enamel so the enamel covers the crown of the tooth this is the crown area and it is covered by enamel as you can see this is the dead portion it has its origin from ectoderm so we know that there are different germ layers like ectoderm endoderm mesoderm so enamel comes from the ectoderm germ layer it is normally the visible and it is supported by the underlying dentin which is the next part that i'll be discussing the normal color of the enamel it varies from light yellow to grayish white the thickness of enamel it varies over the surface of the tooth and is it is often thickest at the cusp area and thinnest at the border the wear rate of animal is known as attrition animal's primary mineral is hydroxyapatite you must remember this is the main mineral that animal is comprised of and hydroxyapatite is basically crystalline calcium phosphate the largest amount of minerals in enamel accounts not only for its strength but also for its brittleness enamel does not contain collagen so these are all the important points about enamel that you must remember it is the hardest body part most mineralized the mineral that it is made up of is hydroxyapatite which is basically crystalline calcium phosphate enamel uh, origins from the ectoderm layer the color varies from light yellow to grayish white animal is thickest at the cusp and thinnest at its border so these are the few points now let's talk about dentine dentine is a substance that is present between the enamel and the pulp chamber this area is the dentine as you can see it is present between the enamel and the pulp chamber it is secreted by the odontoblast cells of the dental pulp the formation of dentin is known as dentinogenesis we know that genesis means formation so the formation of dentin is called dentinogenesis dentin is a porous yellow hued material and it is made up of 70% inorganic material 20% organic material and 10% water by weight it has collagen when a cavity forms in the enamel and continues in the dentine it progresses very rapidly to the pulp since the dentine is very soft due to which we get to feel sensitivity in our teeth dentin is the alive portion so dentin is present between enamel and pulp area it is secreted by odontoblast cells the formation of dentin is known as dentinogenesis this um, it is a yellow hued material porous this is the composition 
and um, if a cavity is formed in the animal and it continues up till dentine then it leads to sensitivity and this is the alive portion animal was dead portion whereas dentine is the live portion next let's talk about pulp area the dental pulp is a central part of the tooth that is filled with soft connective tissue this area is the pulp chamber as you can see pulp chamber it has blood vessels and nerves this tissue contains blood vessels and nerves that enter the tooth from the hole at the apex of the root so this is um, basically the apex this is the root area right this is root area so apex of the root is this area so um, blood vessels and all travels from a hole this is the hole right this is the hole and from here the blood vessels enter into the pulp chamber as you can see here various blood vessels are there along the border between the dentine and the pulp are odontoblast blast cells which initiate the formation of dentine other cells include fibroblasts preodontoblasts macrophages steel lymphocytes the pulp is commonly known as the nerve of the tooth so till now we know that pulp is a central part it is filled with blood vessels and nerves it has cells like odontoblasts fibroblasts macrophages etc and it is commonly known as the nerve of the tooth then if you talk about the cementum then cementum is basically a layer of connective tissue that binds the root of the teeth firmly to the gums of the jaw bone so the root is bound to the gums and the jaw bones through this connective tissue known as the cementum here you can see this is the cementum its coloration is yellowish and it is uh, softer than dentine and animal i missed a point here cementum is bone like substance that is covering the root of the tooth so it is like the outer portion of the tooth so cementum is basically basically covering the root area and then binding that root area to the gums and to the jaw bone the principal role of cementum is to serve as a medium by which the periodontal ligaments can attach to the tooth for stability so basically what cementum is doing is cementum is binding binding different structures together it is binding the root with the gums and the jaw bone for the purpose of stability so that our tooth can be stable right then there are some other supporting structures also that is uh, the periodontal ligaments periodontal ligament is a specialized connective tissue that is responsible for attaching the cementum of the tooth to the alveolar bone or the jaw bone this tissue covers the root of the tooth within the bone then there comes alveolar bone it is the bone of the jaw which forms the alveolus around the teeth this is basically the jaw bone like any other bone in the human body alveolar bone is also modified throughout the life it is formed and it is destroyed osteoblast cells create bone whereas osteoclast cell destroys it alveolus is also known as bony socket it is the bone of the tooth socket in which all the teeth are embedded the gingiva or the gum is the mucosal tissue that overlays the jaws you can see the pinkish reddish portion that is that you can see from your eyes that is basically the uh, gingiva or the gums one third of the crown is covered with the gums so um i hope you understood the different parts of uh, human teeth first of all it is divided into crown neck and root then there are different structures like enamel then teen pulp cementum then supporting structures like periodontal ligament alveolar bone gums right all the important points i have discussed in this um video you must remember them all um this was all about this video thank you for watching